Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to The Darkest Hour. Tonight is episode 54 with special guest Odin from the Hold the Line podcast. He was actually on last week, but we're having him on again. Let's say hi to the boys. What up, boys? What is going on? Hello. Greetings, gentlemen. Greetings. Good to have you guys here, Hello. as usual. It's GDC week. Did you guys know that? Oh, what is that? Game developer conference means uh, tons mm. of game devs and gaming industry folks come to my city for a week. I, uh, I, I didn't went... know it was in SF. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. I uh, went down to uh, the Mad Mushroom Party, which is the publishing company that Iron, uh, Iron Mist, that uh, OTK made, mm. like Asmongold, Esfin, those guys. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Saw a bunch of like old Twitch OGs that I hadn't seen in years. It was pretty awesome. Um, Donnie, how are you? Good, 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 good. Like darker, good. darker. You look good. Yeah, no we complaints. just we just had Sorry. some good trios with Augie. It was pretty fun. That was a good time. Hell yeah, Jay. What's up? How Sorry. are you? Sorry, Odin. Is it Odin cast? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Beautiful. I'm doing doing all right. Nice, mate. Nice. And of course, Mr. Odin. Welcome. Good to have you. Glad to be here. Welcome Appreciate back. I should back. say. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Good to have you. Yeah, so uh, let's get right into it. I want to know how you ended up on the Hold the Line podcast. Give us the story of how you met those guys, <laughs> your background in Dark and Darker and all that shit, and how are you the fourth co-host there? Just one day you were there. It's like you just manifested yep. it. <laughs> that is exactly how that happened. I just kind of appeared. I just showed up. I was like, hey, guys, you mind if I take a seat right over here? I'll just start talking. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, you got a sure SM7? Yeah, you're fine. You got the podcast, Mike. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, so so the headset's arc, just like a cosmetic. Yeah, no, it's a co well. So I have the uh, is it the a pass caster through thing. Yeah, it's it's because these are like my IEMs, so I can hear myself talk. Because otherwise, if I do this, it's like muffled. When you hear yourself talk, you know, you can regulate your voice a little bit better. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I just got invited to come onto the podcast one night by uh, Arcane, who I met back during the playtests. Uh, so bad. Who I've known since I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the the game Naraka Blade Point. Used to work on yeah. it for sure. Yeah, yes. not not directly, yeah. but like with stream elements. I used to create campaigns with like Disguised Toast and Sakuno and those guys. Yeah, that was a weird time. Yeah, it was. We talked a little bit about that. Uh, you and I some in yeah. that game. That, that was a, a marketing nightmare. To put it lightly, um, but I met so bad back then, and I was the primary caster for Naraka's official tournament, and I ended up doing a couple community events with him, and then we just sort of stayed in touch, did some V Rising tournaments and stuff, and then Darker Darker came out. He was the one that convinced <laughs> me to play. Uh, eventually, we ran a tournament in like Playtest Four, Playtest Five. I'm kind of drawing a blank. I think it was the February one. Mm -hmm. Met Arcane there. Met uh, Ken Kenobi through the other two of them, and one day. Scott was just like, hey, you want to hop on the, the uh, podcast and talk with us? I was like, sure. I, I, if you put a mic in front of me and you don't tell me to shut up, I will just keep talking. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you were a guest. You were a guest once. And then like three weeks later, you were a guest again. Then I was a guest. Mm -hmm. Then you were a guest again. Then you like went, <laughs> then you went away for two weeks. And then suddenly you were a co-host. I was like, yeah, okay. This guy's, he must be good. Yeah, right. He must be good because... He's uh, he's on that podcast now. But anyway, yeah, um, you have a good point of view, and it, it's always fun to watch the Hold the Line podcast and hear you guys uh, shoot the shit and hear your perspective on stuff. So uh, that's cool that you're on there. It's a it's a great podcast. Um, it was fun getting invited. I mean, I I love talking to anybody who's actually really invested in a game, and I think Ken and I are the people that kind of talk the most on that podcast, and that's just because we both are the most opinionated and have the most ideas about it. It's Ken's it's great to just a sit turbo down. nerd. Yeah, I heard turbo there's a little bit of a rivalry dad. going on between you two there, just for you know rank Ooh. one wizard. Ken and I, yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. That's like <laughs> he's nah, he's he's always talking true. about he's always talking about how he's the rank one wizard, and I thought that was your title. Yeah. No, I'm the wizard guy. 
<laughs> Relinquished it so easily. I'm only the two. Come on, man. Wizard. We're trying to start some drama for Reddit here. So oh. Drum up some yeah. drama. Fuck Philly cheesesteaks, you know. Fuck. Ooh, Canada. okay, all right, okay, okay. All right, oh, we don't fucking, need to go that far. We don't, don't need to go like that far. Machine Gun Kelly looks like. Machine gun belly, bro. Man, he needs oh, to no. lose some weight. I don't know, man. I'm running out of here. He He's needs to lose weight. Yeah. He eats good food. I don't know. Yeah. I agree. He's like the hottest son. dudes. I don't know, man. I agree with you, Jake. He's getting a little heavy. You can tell. Mm. You know, he's getting pretty fat. <laughs> Chill yeah. out, chill out, Ken. Chill out, dude. Yeah. You can see it on your Bad face. Fuck. I think you would take that as a compliment, to be honest with you. Yeah, he's probably like, thank God I'm gaining weight. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I've been eating so much, finally. How how annoying is it? I, I mean, like, everyone has their own, like, you know, genetics and their own body type and whatnot. But I've all, as a guy who gets who can get fat very easily, it's always so annoying to hear those guys like, hey, man, I just can't get any weight. I eat all at one, and I just lose weight. I'm just like, fuck you, you Bet you yeah, bro. I look at a bag of Cheetos. I'm like five pounds. And yeah, I yeah I smell <laughs> a Cheeto and I have a wrinkle on my ass. Like, god damn, <laughs> fucking sucks. Yeah. It, it's funny you say that though. I feel like during the play test, like Ken and I were like uh, aware of each other, mm. but to me, I kind of felt like he was my. What's the dude from Pokemon? You know your rival. So I, that's how I Gary? felt at the time. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's Professor Gary. Is it not? Oh, it's <laughs> oh, Gary Oak is his grandson. Oh. That's your rival sure. from Pokemon. We'll yeah, I got, I got you. <laughs> He's your nemesis. Yeah, yeah, He's your arch nemesis. I, I've He's never the... actually brought that up with Ken to wonder if he felt the same. Because, like, at the time, I was like, He's probably better than me, but it's like, I know I'm better, you know? It's Saruman right, and Gandalf, dude. It's, you it's, heard it yeah. here first. When the arena comes out, Jay versus Ken, first to Bring 10, deathmatch. Put your points yeah. on the line. <laughs> Who is better at Ken's casting of, Zap? Yeah. And now Ken's one of my favorite people right. ever. So I just thought it was like Yeah, funny, Ken's the man, yeah. I went from, like, not really, maybe not liking him, you know, being like, I'm just going to be better. To like him being, like, my favorite person. <laughs> nah, Ken's, Ken's amazing. He's, he's very yeah. funny, very smart guy. Uh, okay, so now we've heard about Hold the Line and that whole story, but give us a little bit more info, if you wouldn't mind, just on your storied past in gaming. I'm interested in hearing about it. I think it's cool. But give us, like, the, the quick quick and dirty of it. All right, so raise your hand here if you've played Halo 2. Okay, everybody knows about Halo 2? Uh, that online, is... But yeah, yeah that, that's where I kind of, like, got my start in competitive gaming, and what I year? played... So Halo 2, I played 2000, I think I played it as late as it went into 2005, 2006, like right up to the release of Halo 3. Uh, and yeah. I played at Meadowlands the last year under a pseudonym because my mom wouldn't let me compete. So she wouldn't sponsor me to go. And at the time, MLG required a guardian to be with you if you were under the age of 18. So I mm -hmm. faked my age and went and played as a stand-in for a couple teams. I played mm -hmm. with... I played with Final Boss, I played some scrims, uh, I filled in for Soldier 187, and ever since then I just got obsessed with uh, esports. And I, I've tried many different times to get into different avenues of esports, sometimes successfully, sometimes not so much. Uh, I told you a little bit about a Brawlhalla community tournament thing that I was running for a while. I was mm -hmm. coaching players, I was building <laughs> up a Discord to get uh, people to play with coaches to try to improve. and. I had a lot of fun with that, but I ended up getting swindled out of it in a really, really dumb way by a lawyer of all people who was like a the, lawyer swindled you. No, it's wow. Wow. <laughs> it's such a really, really long story. But to give you the absolute <clears throat> shortest description possible, the guy who first started the discord left the community completely and said he was done, handed it over to this other guy who was the lawyer dude. But I essentially was running it the entire time. And then about eight months in when things were actually going really well and they were starting to work with the developers. They gave me the boot over something very small that they never discussed with me. And uh, ever since then, I, I've tried a few different times to build up like communities in different games. It sucks. And it, well, it, it's, it's given me a lot of different opportunities, so I can't hit on it too much. And yeah, I like getting fucked over stuff. always sucks, though. I mean, yeah. I understand like you, you got your start and you, everyone has to get their, their licks in as they learn and grow. But still, I mm. mean, like, what a dick, you know, like, especially, oh, if you, I mean, especially if you built a lot of the shit and then and then once it looks good, they fucking flick you out of there <laughs> and they just take all the credit. That sucks. I don't know. I mean, yeah, but that, that guy could fuck off and die, but, you know. <laughs> In a video game. No in hard a, feelings. In a video no hard game. feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No hard feelings. Yeah, I hope he loses every case going forward. Yeah. <laughs>
but yeah, that's uh, I mean, I I started doing like I mentioned, um, casting for Naraka. I'd done some yeah. like esports coverage for Overwatch. I played Overwatch competitively for a couple months before I had to go back to working full time like an adult. I've I've been kind of all over the place. Yes, I've done commentary for a bunch of random games. It's just something I'm really passionate about, but I've never been like full time career level on. And mm. anytime one of those opportunities pops up, I just try to make it work with whatever job I'm doing at the time. I'm hoping cool. we're going to see some pretty cool stuff happening with uh, Dark and Darker here in the future. I hope so. We'll see. Hope so, yeah. We shall see. I mean, they have they have marketing plans now. They have budgets. They Epic have some games. money in the bank. So Epic Games, yeah, that's awesome. Epic Game Store mm -hmm. is, a, is a cool milestone for them. A lot of people in the, in the general chat and Discord were like, what the fuck? What a big L. It's not on Steam. It's like, they, it's a company. <laughs> they got to make money. I don't understand. But anyway. Yeah. That was very yeah. funny. Well, the, there's nothing wrong with EGS. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's on it's on a platform, not just their own launcher. Well, That's a huge it, win. Is it only on Epic Games? Like does that does it just exclude it from going to no. Steam? Okay, no. so they haven't signed any sort of exclusivity deal, have they? I mean we, we don't, don't we don't know, know that, but I doubt that. Um, they they the, probably could have knowing like a time frame they have or something. That would be where I would get a little annoyed is if the they're post? exclusively on Epic. The, the post that they put in, in the announcements was that they're also exploring other storefronts. Yeah. So oh I God. don't think they made an exclusivity deal because yep. obviously that would kind of exclude exploring other, other storefronts. So fingers That's crossed, fine. it will still go to Steam. But <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with EGS. Just because yeah. it's owned by Epic, which I'll be honest, I, I watched the... So my, I sent you, you a message earlier about the uh, UEFN engine stuff that I was watching at the Unreal presentation. Yeah. And I got to say, the way that they've sort of transform Epic Games from sort of the laughing stock of the industry to an actual legitimate platform with a good business model is, I, I mean, I have no hate for EGS. Oh, I yeah, I mean, the only <laughs> reason anybody has any kind of hate for Epic Games is because it was exclusivity. That was the only yeah. reason. It was just like, oh, I have to use this platform that is not as good as Steam if I want to play this game. That's why right. people hate it on it. I think no, people, I think people fail to realize why a brand new storefront would try to spend the money on exclusivity. Though, I mean, if you just <laughs> open up your store, you want people to show up, and if you yeah. have a bunch of money and you can make sure people show up for certain really cool products, it, you kind of have to, especially when Steam is the monopoly and the giant. Of course you do. I disagree. I disagree. I think they could have done it a little bit differently. All right. I think they could have given... I think sure, they there's other avenues, the, yes, but that's yeah. the easiest if you have money. Sure. And they have sure. tons, yeah. I mean, ultimately, Fortnite ended up doing the heavy lifting, and... Sure. Yeah. That was their title, so it makes kind of it kind of makes sense that, you know, they'd keep it exclusive, but I, I definitely had some situations where I was like, oh, man, this game's only on EGS... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my friends to play this because they don't want to deal with another platform, and it's yeah. it's such a minor inconvenience in the grand scheme of things. But it's like I, I got to download another app and open this. Come on, mm. I'm good. I'm just gonna play on Steam. Honestly, I'm good with I've, just I've been the, there. the launcher. I, I like the little launcher. I'm cool with it. I might not even ever switch it over to Steam. I'm good with the yeah. launcher. Yeah, why? Yeah, I, I, I rarely ever open yeah. Steam anymore. I have subject. zero in like zero thought to like oh I need to merge this to Steam. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm just not one yeah, of those no. people to begin with. I guess I, we said it like a week ago. Daily, it's, but... Yeah, I mean, I said it a, a week ago, but people just like to collect. Like that's where all their games are. That's where they want all their games at. They want to see one big long list, all the shit they can play. And if you, you know, have to, if you have smart, multiple though. lists, it sucks. Hmm. Them, their marketing is like giving us the word of mouth power. You know what I mean? <laughs> it is like a very smart move, and then putting a discount at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it is smart. Yeah, I will say it. it I mean, just as it is annoying that any, like a lot of different companies have different launchers unnecessarily. Like it is. Sure. It's just why like like but, Ubisoft. It's like come on. Yeah, and and especially those <laughs> kind of launchers sucks. where they run where they're just terrible. Like EA fucking Origin. You got yeah, that thing so up, bad. That's always yeah. Yeah, if it, it's it, like Blacksmith where it's not always running in the background, you know, fucking slowing your shit down. Then Spyware. Yeah. It's yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, basically. Like Origin. Like, like oh, Origin was. Wanna, yeah. Yeah, you, well, you want to boot this up and launch, and you're like, "Fuck, like, no, I do not." Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If it goes on Steam, great. Obviously, it eventually, probably will. Let's be real here. It's very, very high chance that it will. It's going to be great because we'll have tons of Timmies to kill. They'll make a bunch of money, 
And if there's people that are big Fortnite kids or they play Rocket League or whatever and they buy the game on Epic Game Store, great. If you're an old cunt like me and you just want the launcher, awesome. Who cares at the end of the day? I, yeah. I, I actually used to care. I used to get pissy about it, different launchers and whatnot. I was kind of a collector guy. Then I just realized it didn't fucking matter anymore. I just got over it. So, yeah. That's the way I kind of look at it. It's just it's all it's all on how invasive the launcher is at the that, end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I got to see yeah. fucking six different Ubisoft, Origin, Steam, Epic Games all launch on my PC. When I boot it up, I want to put my head through my mouth. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know, if I, I can it. boot it up when I want, you know, totally get it. Uh, so, ladies, we had a a wipe. What five six days ago now? Five days ago? Yep. Yeah, less than a week. Um, before we get into the long list of changes and notes, including the hot fix number 37 that came out today. Let's just talk about how we're feeling. How you guys feeling about the uh, the game? The wipe. You guys digging it? Feeling good. Good stuff, man. <clears throat> I like oh, I love like me that early day. wipe. What's that? Wipe day, I was like, what am I doing? What? <laughs> I don't know, I just I, the the notes and stuff made it look not good. But after after playing it, at least to me, I I think that's just because I play it to you know, play it every day. But I feel like uh I had an abusive partner and for so long I sat there and I was like, they're gonna change. They're gonna get better. Like they're gonna stop lagging and stuttering and finally <laughs> Iron Mace came home, they bought me flowers, they treated me right, and now the game runs like it's supposed to be. So I I'm, no. I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, dude, I haven't had a stutter all day. I played for like four or five hours today. Um, and no yeah, it's, right, it's running really well. <clears throat> um, I Norm's feel like the only the person stuff. who was like negative about it. I feel like I've been asking like everyone I'm playing. No one's like had anything bad. So. Yeah, but to be fair, I mean, yeah. you you play the game for as a full time job. You, you have a YouTube channel that is constantly pushing out content. You're always live with it. It's it's kind of like been your life, a big focus of your life for well over a year now. So it's like, I get it after a while. If there's some semblance of fatigue or if it's just like you need yeah. you need something a little extra juicy like Druid or, or Ice Abyss or something mm. beyond just like some perk changes or something like that. I get it. I understand why you'd feel a little meh. That's why I think you should go on a vacation, Jay. Yeah. Where are you going to go? <laughs> Where are you going to go? Has a, has a chat no been way. trying to get him to go on vacation for like months now? Yep. No, Soma, Soma gave me the tip. Yeah. So. Look, I have been in this industry for 12 years. I work directly with get streamers. And the ones that take vacations, they go the distance and they're happier. It's the fucking truth. Yeah, I'm sure. That's just how it is, straight up. I, I told you, I yeah. will help you plan the vacation. I'll help you. Maybe. It's yeah. no different than a regular job. I mean, you get burnt out from... <clears throat> Working a regular job, you need a vacation. Sure, Just because it's video oh, games doesn't well, mean. Well, actually, I got to email my boss, make sure it's okay with him before I'm allowed yeah. to get <laughs> right. That part I mean, sucks. Yeah, that part's not yeah, great. Jay just gets to lose some subs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, I'm, sure he'll, I'm sure he'll be very relaxed on the beach yeah, thinking about all those subs he's losing. But they come <laughs> back. They come back. You That's know, what people crazy. don't realize. Twitch going on. When I came back, I knew it was going to be a hit. I didn't think I was going to lose all that many subs. I mean, that's so how it, it works. Like an, yeah. It was an eye-opener, and I was like, dude, now I'm scared to do that shit. So, I mean, you have so to. I think though. I'm well past that. Yeah, you, you just have to. You have to just do it anyway. And like I said, once you come back and you get back into the groove, the viewers come back, you know? Mm. Some people don't. Some new folks show up. But for the most sure, part, yeah. you retain like your core audience, and the sub count will oh, slowly yeah. go up. Yeah, fucking, you live in Washington State, you could fly to Hawaii real quick. Yeah, for five grand, bro. Five grand. No way, it's that expensive. From Seattle. Go to Hawaii. From Seattle to Hawaii. It's going to be like $1,000 for the flight, right? And then the hotel and be like $5 billion a night because it's Hawaii. Cheap Airbnb, cheap airline. Don't gamble. (laughs) (laughs) IRL has fall damage. And if I'm hopping on a Spirit Airline, bro, I better come with a parachute or something. No way I'm getting on that shit. Uh, Yeah, I mean, you could take a fucking boat. I don't know. But yeah, I think you should. Speaking of Jay getting a girlfriend, by the way, as as we were sitting here uh, getting ready for the podcast, I was typing in the names on, and I saw Jay's video this morning. (laughs) I was at work and I saw Jay's video pop up and I just, I'm typing in the names and I was like, at Soma and at 
gay Griffia. <laughs> and I almost hit send on it. I was like, I'm not gay. Did I do it? <laughs> oh, I love that Freudian slip. By the way, it wasn't just a Freudian slip. You said he like, it was just twice. A, I'm pretty sure it was his I mic know. cutting out. It sounded like it was your mic cutting out. I'm it sounded the like the gate. Of the doubt here. It was the mic gate, right? <laughs> sure. I, yeah, it was the mic gate. We're gonna go. Like his his silence is confirming. The yes. mic. Nice. Yes. Let's yes. let's <laughs> spin the narrative. Let's spin the narrative. He said she, guys. That's okay, Jay. That's okay. <laughs> we still love you, buddy. No matter what. Hey, at we, least we gotta prop, at least you're I'm dating. Prop him up. At least I'm he's dating. <laughs> Even if you were, Fuck you're you you're guys. dating. You're out there. You're throwing yourself out there. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good. And by I'm the way, streaming again. By, Dave, you by love the way, just turn the podcast right onto your personal life. For yeah. Five, ten minutes. I mean, it's in his it's in his video. When Jay said, whenever Jay said, the person wants to come over because I don't know if you really said he or she. So the person wants to come over, and Jay was like, they've been asking for three weeks, but I keep saying no, which makes me look weird because quote I don't feel like cleaning my room. I know the real yeah. reason. Jesus, re it's it's because yeah. he doesn't want her to find out he's a streamer. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me walk Mother, through this. Sorry, I got Sorry. a streamer I... on the Tinder bio, man. I want to figure it out. Are you on streamer Tinder? It's right above oh, rank shit. one wizard. <laughs> I gotta figure this out for a second. So, have you been going Maybe. out with this girl? That's funny. Yeah. So, like, you'll go get like a bite to eat or a drink, and she'll be like, yep. "Hey, like, you want to go back to your house?" And you're like, "No, not happening." <laughs> exactly. Old shutter <laughs> In fact, that's some that's some alpha shit. It's it's even more awkward because she's picked me up from my house twice. <laughs> she's probably oh, she like, "What is going she, on in there?" She, she thinks like, you're married, dude. Off. You have kids or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, either you that or you got. On. <laughs> it's it's either she thinks you're married or you got another girl or you got about a week tops before she thinks you're watching one of those like guru dating things don't talk to her don't text her don't invite yeah. her back to your place tell her That's no scarcity creates longing all right let me write that down <laughs> so call a cleaning lady just do it you just <laughs> want to get laid like i don't understand we don't have to break jay down that far by the way <laughs> yeah, it's like it was <laughs> funny to meme for a second we don't have to go okay. that far you're sticking your hand all the way to the bottom of that cookie jar let's, let's not go yeah, on <laughs> you know i'm diversifying my portfolio is all Oh, there you go. Enjoy. Right. Enjoy okay. yourself. I respect that. He's like, he's like I'm no, just going to no. say this, and if they nod and agree, we'll move on from this topic. I like that. <laughs> Nodding and agreeing. Nice, bro. Yeah, yes, like... yeah, yeah. Good portfolio. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Love it. Classy. All right. <laughs> yeah, another man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, he needs somebody patch, on the guys. side to run. The, he needs somebody <laughs> over here to run the stream deck, okay? He can't do it all himself. Yeah, fucking gross. <laughs> I I think it W patch in the video game we do our yeah. podcast about. Anyways, I wasn't a fan at first. You know, I come <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, that was a terrible, yeah. terrible statement. To follow all that up. I, I mean, I, I think the content's a little underwhelming. Nice. You know, I'm just on a tear lately. So you what? Sorry. What did you, what'd you say? Nothing. Okay, Donnie, what did you say? I said I I think I can agree the content is a little underwhelming, but yeah. I think yes. the game is just fantastic to play now, and um, I actually want to play more than two hours because mm -hmm. it used to be I would play for about two hours, and I'd say, "Damn, I died to lag for the yeah. third time." I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna log off. Sure, but now that doesn't happen, so I, I just I enjoy playing. Yeah, so I <clears throat> go ahead, please. I uh, I I've noticed that they've basically fixed. The problem of rubber banding and just general lag but i think jay will probably ap appreciate this i think they they did that by introducing like a lot of interpolation to the game uh because Whoa. it's been my experience that since they since this patch like the overall quality is really good and i don't lag a rubber band or you know snap back or roll back anything anymore but i do have a lot of like really desynced projectiles that mm. happen really often, and yeah, I'm kind so of I'm worried. A, I'm a dummy. What does interpolation mean? It is a network trick that they use to read the packets between two people and try, if there's a lot of like latency between the two of them, it tries to determine what's going to happen based on what the server is like understanding from both of them. And what that equates to, if somebody has like really high ping and they end up on your server somehow, you won't get like the weird rollbacks where you're like 
glitch stepping in space in uh, in place over and over again. But you'll get these scenarios where somebody swings their sword and like full seven or eight frames before the sword gets swung, you get hit when you watch it mm. back. Oh, you like have a shield way. up. Yeah. But mm. I think it, I feel like they turned the interpolation up at the, the cost of turning everything else down, which overall feels better, but it does lead to some situations where I'm like, damn, we still need some better tick rates on these servers. Other than yeah. that, gotcha. that was my one gripe with this. Other than that, I've been enjoying yeah. a lot of this play, this this wipe, and I'm really looking forward to multiclassing. I think it's going to be fun. There's a guy named Wasted in Jay's chat saying the kill cam feels like it might play a role in it. You think that's a thing? Yeah, have you guys <clears> enjoyed <throat> the kill cam? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> funny. At one I like time. It. I think it's funny. Yeah. I like the kill cam. Okay. The kill well, cam I mean, definitely was compiles for the kill cam. There's a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's the kill cam causing it. I think what happens when you watch your kill cam back is that the kill cam compiles like a replay of what you saw on your side. So if something looks really laggy from the death cam, that's what your client saw. I think that's mm. how it works. Yeah, I agree across the board that <clears throat> the game feels really good to play. Um, I'm loving it again. Not that I wasn't before, but I was frustrated at a point for sure. That being said, I am frustrated again though. I'm frustrated mm. with with ranged meta still. I'm I'm frustrated okay. with. I am. I'm just tired of it. I, I have to I agree. I know it's annoying we to hear that all the time. We can fix balance. But... We can fix balance. So I get at that. least the game fucking works. Oh, I, I'm with you. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm I'm just bitching at this point for sure. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, I mean, I'm sick of ranged meta, <clears throat> and uh, I. Well, what's the? It was another point I had. It was ranged meta, and there's one other thing. Oh. And no map rotation. I mean, they they let us play on anything yeah. we wanted to, and now we're stuck. Like if I if I'm solo, and I go into Ice Caverns duo, and I get run down in thirty seconds by two guys, I might be able to kill one, maybe. But the second guy, probably not, unless I'm a ranged class, which I don't really like ranged. Mm -hmm. So I play I play like longsword fighter or melee lock or barbarian. And at that point, I'm probably just gonna die. <clears throat> I would like to reiterate my suggestion. Keep it how it is. Add rotating solo queue as a fourth queue. Don't like leave solo caves. It's fine, but I think they should have rotate for solos. I agree. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'd be down for that. Yeah, sure. Mm. As someone who's been soloing for like a few days, this shit is awful, and I I I refuse to go in the caves. It sucks. So I've been playing yeah. in crypts and ice caves. It's and... not that like Goblin Caves is like the worst map ever. It's just if you it's not. do it. Every time you want to play solo, it's like, exactly that's for what six I mean. Six hours yeah. at a time, you're it gonna fucking go yeah. insane. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's just I don't know. Like, yeah. Especially with ice caverns, like like the game is typically played by trios or or solos. Wasn't that like the essentially yeah, duos the least played? Yeah, duos was the least played. I, I can't remember the percentages though. I there, there was a graph at one point, but duos is the least played, and ice caverns is the new hot shit. And I that's my favorite map. And it's like, well, it's opened up to the smallest pool of players and duos. I just find that odd. But oh, and then the final thing: <clears throat> plus two all ats on everything. Massive fucking gear differentials. Massive gaps in between gear and high roller. People just completely bissed out five days in already. It's just goddamn. Just, I'm tired I mean, of that what are you too. Do? I'm, it's oh, a I, game. I I don't know. I'm I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of uh, I, I think the, the dance one of the things between that... all ats and then going away from it because they realize it's too powerful and then going back to it. Yeah. That's that's what I'm frustrated about is the is the yo yoing. Say what you want yeah. to say, Donnie, because I, I definitely have something to add to that. I was gonna add with like looter shooters and looter extraction games. I mean it's it's all about snowball, man. So mm -hmm. and especially in this game, it's it's less so in Tarkov because in Tarkov, you know, you can if you're <laughs> a god at aiming, you can Mac rub somebody in the mouth, no matter what gear they're wearing, and they'll die, right? Until they have an Alton, and then it's like, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. yeah. M minus a few stipulations, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Or you can land a grenade on, whatever it is. Yeah. But in Dark and Darker, I mean, it's very gear checky, all that stuff. So the snowball is even worse. So I think, you know, you kind of have the feast and the famine in like High Roller, mm -hmm. where you have people that are gods and you have people that are just trying to get by and, and not run into the god. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna fix that. I don't know how you're gonna balance that unless you like change the whole way gear and skill kind of interact in the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, I mean, the that's game is be. built. <clears throat> the, the game is built from the ground up to be a looter extraction game. So yes, when you true. if you play normals for a while, it's very fun because you get to normalize PvP and it's good to have that that experience. But 
if you play normals for any extended period of time, you start to get this like, what's the point kind of feeling? Because you can nothing you do in there ultimately ends up mattering because you can't <clears throat> use any of the things that you got from your normals. Some people may be more, you know, able to play that for a long period of time, but after a while, I just yeah. get sick of it, and I know a lot of people do too. So, Look, uh, go ahead. Sorry. I feel like you can't. I feel like you can't take away gear. And uh, I've no, seen a lot I'm of people be like, that. get yeah. rid of enchantments, get rid of gear. The gear diff is ridiculous. And it's like you can't do that. You you have to keep gear exciting. So there's a, there's a hamster wheel to run Agreed. on for yeah. players. But Agreed. I do agree that shrink the gap. Is, That's all it's got to be is just shrink the gap. Gear can still be exciting. Yeah. It just doesn't have to be such a massive gap between mm -hmm. someone with like greens just starting in high roller and someone that's been, you know, destroying high roller for many, many hours. The gap doesn't have to be that wide. And I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking as how Iron May should be thinking, which is we need to retain players. We need new players. We need more game sales. We want our company to survive and continue on, right? Therefore, we need to make a fun game that is, uh, you know, accessible from a new audience new purchases right but if you have a game that is so hard that uh it scares people off or they feel like they have no shot <laughs> at, at, at winning a pvp bout in high roller new folks will leave you will lose players that is true and it sucks to say that but just thinking like from their perspective if if it was me i would want to make a game that had a really good new player experience and i would want i would want gear to still be fun and still be exciting and still have that cool grind uh, and still have that hunt for artifacts and whatnot. But I'd also want the guy who is in greens and blues to have a shot at least at a guy that has a bunch of legendary stuff on, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the way you fix that is yeah. you add more skill expression in the game. That too, you add more ways that to too. Outplay people. I mean, I think <laughs> there's fun skill expression in the game right now. It's pretty vanilla overall, don't get me wrong, but I think you could have a much better game if there isn't statistics that can be so leveled up and go so far beyond your competition that it feels like you're fighting a human player raid boss. <laughs> like it just it just sucks after a while. Yeah, I've said this like so many times. It's like it's really just like a what is your percent chance you like win this engagement? Right. right that's and that's what like, I'm. Ref yeah. Exactly. And it's like, yes, there's skill in the game, but on just on like the paper numbers, like you already have a one percent chance of win, you know, against mm -hmm. this guy is yeah. like super geared. But yeah, part of me wants to say that it might <laughs> just have something to do with there being like nine rarities, you know? Yeah, it's like well, how, are you also, to, how are you not supposed to have a massive gap with nine rarity tiers or whatever? It's a good point. It's so. a very good point. Think about how the game is originally designed too. When we first played it in playtest, Hyrule had a gold entry fee and all loot across across the board for both normal and hr was a lot worse just in general like it was just way harder to get good gear eventually we all got better and of course we were able to get better gear more consistently but like you started the game with one stash tab there was no marketplace trading was this horrible friction garbage that nobody wanted to deal with i, I just i hated it mm. that's a, that's a whole nother topic but you you had Scarcity enforced by the game and scarcity enforced by the fact that you don't have enough stash space. So at best, with all the gold and jewelry and weapons and stuff that people were holding on to, you had room for one or two kits. Maybe three. And then that was it. You didn't have a bunch of alts holding on to stuff. You didn't have six kits on backup. You didn't have Ken who, if you watched him at the end of Last Wipe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It five pages of like golden kits for his cleric. <laughs> right. You kill it, even, even if you manage to overcome the gear diff, and kill him one time, he just gets to put on another one and go do it again. And like, right. we're in a situation where I, I love the convenience of having all that extra storage and having the market, but I kind of want to see what they do with a solo southbound mode where you can't trade with people and they reduce the storage a bit. That's what I want. Yep. That's why I like norms. I think I still think norms are is the best way to play the game. It's the most fun. Um, you do you have to most fair. It's it's yeah most fair. You could still anyway, find yeah, good it's stuff. Not super crushing. Exactly, you know. and you could still right. go bossing. Now, are you gonna find, uh, you know, Fulgor and Norm's a uh, Norm's Lich run? Fuck no. Which I mean, that's still fine. Find the equivalent in Normals though, called a fucking purple longsword like free weapon. <laughs> <man. It's laughs> like, oh, fuck sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I still think Norm's is the best. It's just it it feels the most fair, yes, but just the most fun too. Like, I, I have been playing the game a long time, and I can dumpster on kids and norms, but I go into HR with bad loot, yep. 
and I'll get dumpstered by gold guys and I'm not going to win because I'm not Augie son, the fucking grandmaster long swordsman. I'm not Jay, the best wizard ever that can take three people on. Uh, that's not me. Right? Three men at once. Yeah. Which is insane to watch. Right. Like it's, it's cool to see that, but that's, that's pro level stuff. Right. So I think if you're thinking about your business and thinking about retaining players and thinking about bringing in new people, close that gap a bit. Make it make that fair feeling that we really like about normals. Add that into HR a bit. And people can talk shit and say it's about skill and get good. I'm literally thinking about a business for them. That's all. That's all I'm, I'm thinking about how much of a bad time I'm having because I'm losing. Like think about Iron Mace the company. Think about their bottom line. Mm -hmm. Think about retaining players. Think about the uh, the company lasting long enough to see Dark and Darker get to a 1.0 and beyond the 10 year plan they have. And in order to achieve that, you have to retain players. So, yeah. You know how many times I'll have like a, a chatter hop in the black. Like, ah, I just bought the game. It's been three days. I had my first extract. I'm like, Jesus. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you are like 1% of bro. the new player base that would even bother to go that far. I feel like <laughs> just to be honest, like, Imagine buying a game and rolled for like two days. I don't think you're gonna play anymore. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I not. think like two I, days straight, you just get fucking farmed and there's like obviously yeah. no hope. Yeah, you're probably not probably not playing. That's what I mean. Much longer. Yeah. I, I think people who enjoy this type of stuff are the same people who enjoy like unironically. I think people who enjoy Dark and Darker would enjoy fighting games just because if you play a fighting game. And you don't know what the hell you're doing. You are just gonna get shit on by everybody. Everyone is just gonna beat your ass. Mm. And I, I think the community has done this thing where they like sort of infantilize new players and treat them like little children. You gotta hold their hands, and they can't be trusted to not have fun if you don't give them a win in the first five <laughs> minutes. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we do need to make it so that you're not just getting shit on with no hope of winning because it's not fun. Uh, I think normals, normals is, is good which is normals. Yeah, yeah which is normals. Normals, normals is sort of the stop game for that. And I see a world where we get to this 1.0 and there's like seven maps and you can play it all on rotation and there's always cool shit to do even in, norm even in normals where you don't have the gear incentive really because you can't use it in normals. Mm. But we're we're still so far from that and it's kind of hard to see right. the, the vision. Yeah. 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 I mean I mean there's a lot of fun stuff you could do to make the game feel better in that regard, but I think really you got to start working on some of the core systems. Like yeah. what is the progression of the game? <clears throat> What's the end game look like? Like what are we what are we murdering each other in the dungeon for? Is there something to work towards? Mm -hmm. I'd really like to see that stuff come together here shortly. I think really multi-classing is going to mm. add a lot of the progression. Yeah. Yes. It, it's it'll be yeah. a good experiment to see if that if that system pays off. I think it's going to be cool. Uh, I think we'll get to a point where there is completely broken builds that will be off putting, but I think that's part of the fucking experiment, right? Which is a good thing. Yeah. But people, and as we all know, in general chat and the dad Discord or just in Twitch chat or YouTube comments, people don't understand that it's early access and that it's an experiment and that it's a test phase. People don't get it. They just for some reason, gamers these days just assume because a game is playable that it's 1.0 and that's it. They don't gamers understand, and it's, it's insane. I don't know. So they just have to be careful with their experimentation and their testing. Um, I'm not saying fucking cater to, to crybabies. No, I'm not saying that at all, but there's a balance, and they got to be careful. Uh, okay, should we go over patch notes? I think Ooh. we should. I think we should do it. Let's do it, chat. Okay. I'm waiting for the statistic. How many people hit like the first milestone <laughs> in the multi class and how many people hit the second? Because mm. I bet those people that just get dog shit on the first round, they just don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Imagine getting like hidden pockets, you know, like <laughs> mana surge and like some other useless perk as your three. That's got to be sweet, terrible. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. What if you get like iron lungs on fucking fighter or something? It's like, damn. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Yeah. Yeah. You go and go back to the character creation screens, what you do now. Or you get iron lungs on <laughs> yeah, Bard and suddenly they can sing now. That'd be kind of cool. Mm. All right. Let's, uh, let's look at these notes. Early access wipe number three came out five days ago, 10 a.m., which is cool. Uh, the changes. Here we are. 
Fix an issue where the kobolds calling would summon all types of monsters. I think we all fucking felt that one occasionally. I know I did. Especially yep. because I, my, my AP grind was, <laughs> was in the ice caves. And yeah, sometimes yeah. you literally were fighting just, I don't know, a fucking... Two rooms. Yeah, just a train of enemies. It feels like I'm playing 20 Horde enemies. from Gears of War or something, dude, dude. they were just coming out of the fucking walls, man. And it'd be like yeah. one or two at a time. Like, as soon as you finally got done killing the next thing, the next thing would come through the door, and the next thing would come. Oh. You'd kill that thing, and the next have thing they would they messed with... I, I have yet to play any Ice Caves this wipe. Have they played any with any of the, like, the mob density at all, or is it still just an insane it's amount? a little less dense. Right? Slightly. So. Slightly. Smidgeless. I think they've removed like a couple of kobolds here and there, but it feels yeah. mostly the same. The big place I'm noticing the mob density changes is goblin caves, especially some of the spawns where like they removed a death beetle and a dragonfly from one of the corner spawns yeah. and like skeletons in a room right outside. Those are pretty good changes, but I think there's still some places in ice caves like that module that kind of like is two modules with no wall connecting it. There's like 7,000 skeletons within a square inch of you spawning, and if you are solo, you're just dead. Or you leave or you die. Or you have to have a shield or a longsword and then just cleave through and make sure you hit your blocks or you're dead. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Fix an issue where players could attack opponents through walls or floors and certain train in the crypts. I did not experience that. That's interesting. Same. It's the, uh, the broken pillars on Broken Bridge. There was uh, uh, one of the pillar... Like crumbling piles, you could just shoot arrows and, and like fireballs and stuff right oh, through nice. it. Nice. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, that would suck to die too. Uh, fix an issue where players could sometimes levitate when using ladders. Definitely felt that one. It was pretty goofy. Uh, improved detection performance and stability of Iron Shield. Good. Flame effects for Torch and Roaster have been improved. Yet, we still have shitty looking fire spitting out of Hydra's mouths, which it's, it looks bad to me, but that's just a nitpicky shitty thing. Here you Bye, Donnie. It is a little goofy. <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it eventually, obviously. Sorry. Uh, the way outlines are displayed has changed. What are they, like, sharper? They pop more? What do you think? For what? The way outlines are displayed has changed. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think it's... It all day. I didn't really notice anything different. Yeah, I'm guessing it's for... Like bangles and stuff when you pick them up off the ground, they're very uh, hard to target in certain places. I so I think see. they finally okay. increase the pickup radius on it a little bit. Good call. That makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Fighter's breakthrough now ignores most movement blocks and movement slows for five seconds. Good change. Block, yeah. Good change. That's a good change. Blessing of freedom, baby. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's probably still not being used that much, let's be real here, but I think that's a great change. And that's yeah, the right move. I tried it. I don't yeah. think I had a single time where I was no. like, damn, I should pop my breakthrough. <laughs> if yeah. it also gave a speed mm. boost like Blessing of Freedom, then it would be good. Plus, and, and we can retail shit. Dude, we could have the Red Pally build, and that's what I, I want that. Give yeah. me the big hammer. Yes. Give me the plate armor. Give me the speed. I mean, they're going to have Let me throw hammers. Some player. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe with multi-classing, so. they might not add it, but I hope they do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Paladin? Yeah, of course. The, all the core classes, class. all the core classes will be in for sure. Let's be real here. Um, but yeah, breakthrough. That's a good change. Um, if as long as you can get out of a ranger trap by hitting your hotkey, that's all I care about. Because fuck I doubt ranger it. traps. Yeah, if you can't, <laughs> that sucks ass. That was like a snare. <clears throat> I doubt that. It ignores most movement blocks and movement slowdowns. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, what was a movement block? Yeah, I don't know. That that's what a I snare. consider to be like the slow a spell or, a, or the trap ice bolt. or ice bolt ice bolt freeze yes mm -hmm. exactly uh, Blind. here's a fun one wizard's new spell magic lock has been added it's pretty hilarious when when there's yep. only one door to get into the circle and you just continuously lock that fucking thing and that rogue is stuck in the dark from the other side of that door <laughs> that's fucking mean his little face fucking peeks through the fucking the window of the door <laughs> just like please mister suffer suffer uh, and yeah, die fuck you dude Swarm, I may or may ass. not have locked a three man out of the final like zone. That's room. great. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> Apparently, if you have enough spell memory, you can just sit and recover it between every yeah, cast, yeah. and yeah. you just keep it locked infinitely. That's that's that pretty is ridiculous. Up. That's crazy. Uh, Wizard's new perk, spell <laughs> overload, has been added. Okay, this yes, fucking perk is so great. I love it, but it's kind of busted. It's right? broken. It's yeah, broken. That's yeah, kind of busted. 
it's fun though it's fun yeah, being able yeah, to run you know fireball and zap and chain lightning and then taking intense focus and just deleting motherfuckers it's pretty fun I'm not gonna lie to you even i've i've been playing wizard a little bit because of it it's, it's cool what do you think yeah. jay resident wizard I mean, I've only played, I don't even have a level 15 wizard, but it's pretty fun. Fair enough. Okay, I think, uh, fun. I think it's a little bit broken, to be honest with you. They just nerfed the mem cap. So I'm maining wizard this, this run. I've been a fighter main for as long as the game's been around, but I just decided to do something different this time. And, huh? uh, I've been maining wizard and it's, it's insane. I think it's kind of broken. Uh, there's a bug with it right now, which they may have fixed or they may not have fixed, where if you have like a certain amount of mem cap or like bonus mem cap, it doesn't reduce it. So people were able to run 10 spell with overload and it was just completely out of control. <laughs> right. with 100 crazy. spells without having to sit down. That's wild. It's like absolutely obliterating teams with no, no possible counterplay. But <laughs> I'd kind of like to see them do, <clears throat> make it viable for 10 spell by making it instead of minus 70% for double spells. Just give it like plus twenty five percent spells, and you can round up to you know whatever the next one is. So if you have five, it'll give you seven, uh, and then just make it minus twenty five percent mem cap because then you'll get one extra fireball, one extra chain lightning, uh, you know, one extra lightning strike, but you get two extra zaps, two extra haze, two extra invis. Well, what if it's just only spells? a certain tier of spell instead of like the top tier spells like chain lightning and all that shit? What if it peters off at like tier four spells or something like that? That's where it stops. You can only overload those smaller spells. It's a decent one. You would still have 10 zaps, which I think is the thing yeah. everybody's the most yeah. upset about. That's true. Yeah. Zap too good. Yeah. It's a really fun perk, though. It makes Wizard feel... I like un it. Like, kind of unstoppable at times. You just chuck in fireballs at people just for 10 straight seconds. Just fireball, fireball through yeah. a door. It's like, I'm just fucking these guys up. They can't do anything about it. It is fun. It is fun, but yeah, it's... It's fun because it's OP. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's continue. Rogue's creep no longer makes footsteps when the conditions are met. It also no longer increases movement speed. So good. That's I good. love it. That's good. Just walking behind like three mans. They have no clue. Yeah, that's awesome. Good for Mr. Perry, right? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, one viable rogue play style at the moment. Exactly. Except... Yeah, I mean, we'll get to it, but Hyde is uh, something Yeah, at the moment. Uh, Rogue's hand crossbow mastery has been removed, allowing Rogue's to use hand crossbows by default. I think that's good. That's a good thing. All right. I'm cool with that. I like it. I have a base. I mean, the whole reason they took that away back uh, in the playtest was because they... Actually, no, they took it away in early access. It's just because they were just yep. double jumping around and poisoning everybody with crossbows and... Mm -hmm. Especially on ruins, you couldn't get to them and they were just shooting at you forever. Was... That was the biggest issue, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Rogue's tumbling animation has been slightly improved. I thought it looked great before. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy as fuck, but great. I mean, how did it change? Just looks smoother and less derpy as fuck or what? I think it's just I faster. Seen it. Oh, it's faster? Oh, okay, well, that's awesome. I think it's just it's like a couple frames faster and it moves you a little bit further back, I think. The tumble's the one where he does the backflip, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I've seen two people use it ever. <laughs> and one of them is in this chat. Dude, re <laughs> that repose video, though, uh, whenever he kills Glocktane, that, that yeah, video that, was that awesome. Was the way he was moving around, <laughs> it just looked awesome. I don't know. It just looked, it made Rogue just look so powerful and so fun. And then yeah, you, like and an then you try it. Yeah. And then like one of us tries it. And I just like. I don't know, I died of fucking poison and then a wall spike. It's like, okay, why did I even get on this class? I have, I have, right. I'm, a, I'm a poppable pimple with five health. Like, what the fuck? I'm fast, but I'm going to pop every time. You know, I've, I've, got a, I've got an opinion. I feel like Rogue is really fun for Rogues when Rogue is strong, and then Rogue makes the game not fun for everybody else when Rogue is strong. <laughs> I have some news for you. That's yeah. not an opinion. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's yeah. like... When I feel like Rogue, a lot of times. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. When Rogue wants to do, when Rogue gets to do what Rogue wants to do, it is fun for Rogue and nobody else. And it, I brought this up during our Q and A. It's Hyde is just this polarizing ability that makes it so that everything is an arms race around Rogue being able to one shot you from stealth. Mm. Yeah. Right now, yeah. I think I've yet to be killed by a Rogue all patch. I've been so, destroying them. They kind of yeah. suck right now. They suck. Yeah. Yeah. I feel bad for them. Yeah. Kinda a little bit. 
I'll never feel bad for a ranger, though. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Yeah. Let's nope. Continue. No pity for the rangers. Fuck them. Nope. Not yeah, at I saw all. you popping <laughs> off, dude. You all right? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Just these road complainers, you know. <laughs> As we complain like, about it in my this class podcast. Finally, bad, dude. Look, oh, it's, I see. It's it's bad right now. It's it won't be bad for long. I think that buff was decent, but yeah, it's like just can we just remove hide and make it a real class? Give it like shadow meld. So if they sit in shadows for two seconds, they go invisible. No, nah, I'll say it. I, I'm I'm a little sad. I know that hide was like bad in some some ways, but I do think that they nailed rogue. You know, with like. Everything about it, I feel like, is pretty spot on. And then no hide, it's now like, I don't know. I don't know. What are you, you going to do with no hide on Rogue? Why would you ever play Rogue with no stealth? Well, like let's, no let's design the class to give you reasons to play it that aren't built around a stealth mechanic that gives everybody a heart attack once a game. I mean, what you if know, they like just like... Pocket and lockpick? You what know? if stealth yeah. wasn't like complete, absolute invisibility? You know, what if we had kind of like a predator sheen a little bit? That's like what we have right really now. That's what we have now. It's really yeah. bad, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah turn it, it in. Turn noticeable. it in. Man. Yeah. It's... The other problem, is, honestly, I think the worst thing is like buffs and debuffs show when you're in hide down. So oh, you're standing still and you have a fucking ignite. You're just a flaming sword. Oh, that's oh, really that's really that's, dumb. That, 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 that really kind of sucks. Yeah, it's, that's not cool. Yeah. Or maybe I feel rogue. I feel that for rogues. And maybe if it's only if they get buffed in stealth, I'm not sure. But I've, uh, I got like cleric bubbled when I was pickpocketing a team, and then they clipped <laughs> it and showed me, and it's just a floating protection bubble in the middle of a room. Yeah, yeah that could just be a like, mistake. Oh. That could just be a. I think that's a bug well, because I there was also. About it. I asked about it, and they said it was not intended, but we'll oh. keep it for now. That's kind of was, the answer. Uh, so. Interesting. How is Repose doing? Is he still Rogan, or is he? Yeah. Has anybody up? anybody checked in on Ro on Repose? No, still, he's here. Repose is he okay? still Rogan. You got him on Firewatch. Probably. I'm sure he is. Yeah, I mean, he's I still... I've been watching the the Repo streams and videos, and yeah, he still fucking kills everyone. What do you know? But he's also just a freak. Like Repose is. I'm watching him play <laughs> Fighter. He's playing oh, hey, Fighter. Repose. Wow. Repose. Yeah, yesterday he was playing fighter. If he's in this chat, I, I was playing with so bad the other day and we found the, the, the Cyclops toes. Or <laughs> giant toes. Made repose give up on rogue. <laughs> Dude, level <laughs> delete the repo delete the repose rogue, name it retoes, and just fill up a, an entire four stash tabs of Cyclops toes. Do it for oh, the oh. Okay. Yuckers. But yeah, I do feel like uh yeah, rogue is a bit of a joke at the moment. He's it playing is. cleric and fighter. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, things are bad, huh? Oh yeah, he he has <laughs> been playing Slayer Fighter. That's right. I did see him. I Slayer Fighter strong. Which is, which is the rogue? It's like a rogue with no stealth. It's like, like yeah, that's what you would play with no hide in the game. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you just fair. play Slayer Fighter. All because right. instead of seven hits, it's like two hits. And it's Definitely. so fast. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> too fast. It's like going up against a lawnmower. It's fun though. It's very satisfying to play, but it's there's so many Slayer Bro, fighters. They're everywhere. Slayer and normals is a goddamn menace. It's hard. Yep. Yeah. It's How super is that? Hard. Yeah. Wow. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. It's we it's got hardcore. bodied uh, twice right before the podcast by Slayer fighters. Yep. Because well they they got with? lucky with because they found like a cape and like a blue fal a blue falchion two minutes into the norm run. So it's like, well, fuck, yeah. You're, you're Isn't gonna... it just fighters in general are like insanely strong in normals because they can either play PDR and hit like forty five percent in white gear or yeah. two tap you as Slayer? I mean, fighters just yeah. ridiculous in in normals. Yeah. It's strong. Yeah, yeah. But long sword fighter norms is still terrifying. Nah, I think if you're good at parry or post. I oh, you say it's good. It's good. It's good. Anywhere. It's good. Yeah. yeah. The second it's... you hear the the clink, you just know. Ding. Oh, it's yeah. it's so good, yeah. Uh, okay. It's like the it's like the the M1 Garand the cartridge being ejected. <laughs> you hear that? It's ping, the Mosin. It's, like, it's the Mo. It's the it's the Tarkov oh. Mosin of of Dad. Oh, is it the Mosin? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how that's how You're Timmy that's how up. Timmy can take down a giant. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. So Rogue Smoke Pots range has been adjusted. Probably a good thing. Rogue's ambush and shadow runner are integrated. Holy fuck, that's insane. What do you guys think about that? You like that? Sounded insane until you try and play Rogue right now. <laughs> well, look, Rogue, did did you guys play Rogue at all today? Has everybody no, tested with the, the new base any Rogue. Mm -hmm. new base strength and the buff to daggers? Has everybody tested with it yet? Because I haven't touched it. 
we slowly worked. We're, we're doing the good thing now. Iron Mace, like keep doing this where we slowly work things up to a reasonable degree instead of 100%, 50%, 100%. Please, <laughs> yeah. please let's just keep doing incremental yeah. buffs. Yes. This is the right way to handle this. It doesn't piss everybody off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Rogue's Pickpocket and Hidden Pocket are integrated. Good. That's a good integration. Rogue's Lockpick Mastery and Trap Detection are integrated. Awesome. I think that's cool. Rogue's Silhouette is now visible while, uh, while moving in stealth. Okay. Okay. I mean, Rogue said it, but... Okay. Uh, here we it's go. It's honestly fine. Just needs to be tuned down a little bit. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Ranger's Chase and Enhanced Hearing are integrated. Ranger's new perk, Camping Mastery, has been added. So you put them down faster, they'll last longer. Kind of a thing, right? Yep. Uh, Ranger's new skill, Backstep, has been added. See, I thought Backstep was going to be Tumble, just for a Ranger. The cooldown is way too long, and it's too slow, and it's bad. It, it just it needs a lot I of love. I love it. It's bad, though. Why I do you love it? I love Backstep, bro. It's really? fun. You got it's really fun. I love it. Dude, I've been... Oh, I was try I, I'm a little pissed, actually, because of the no-regging. When You know when you... You know when you like kill a mob that hits you, it does no damage. You know that you guys run into yeah. force. Well, that happens with rangers. So like, I'll like shotgun somebody when they're one HP, and then they'll kill me, and then I know red. I happened like five times. But yeah, I've been mm. I've been shotgunning, running away, and then I backstep and I one eighty and I barrel stuff them. It's like my strat. <laughs> yeah, some like trick shot shit. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. I guess whenever I first the... saw it, it just seemed wonky. Like it was slow or something. But it it did just get a buff today. So... You have to jump, and on height, it's good. Oh um, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Cool, I totally space what I was gonna say though. You can jump off of ledges uh, with it, oh, and then like go yes. backwards to bait people yes. to follow you. You can fake. You can do the fake jump off like you can with double jump. Oh, that's, nice. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could see it. I could see jumping and doing it actually being viable. That's cool. Okay, let's get back to the list. Clerics see, stuff like that's fun. Like like skill expression stuff like that, where you can you can get a little silly with it. Yeah, outplay sure. people like that. Yeah. Well, bro, you I can mean, pop it while you're doing anything. So you can like triple shot. You're like bang, bang, sidestep, bang. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If you're really good, at, like you're fast enough to be able to like flick and then flick back in between shots. They they need to improve the server tick rate if they're gonna keep that going this way. But I'm totally for this. Like, add more fast stuff that just like helps you reposition. Or is we talked about this at the Q and A like uh, a week before on the on our podcast we were talking about uh, knockback arrow and like nipple on being able to cancel people's casts. That feels mm -hmm. really good because it's a way that you're influencing the game that isn't just a stat check. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah. a skill expression thing. Like, oh, you see the clerics getting ready to cast a sank, you hit them with the knockback shot, or you run up and shield slam them out of it. You know, th these are things that I want to see more of in the game, and I hope that they consider, like, let's, let's put four buttons in instead of two, but make it so yeah. you can only take, like, a mobility skill in one of those slots so you don't have rogue go uh, ambush, cheap shot, rupture, uh, backstab all point, that all yeah. that shit like yeah. like obviously i don't even think they could kill you right now even if they did all that but <laughs> in the event that they were balanced that would that shit would be stupid but if you had a bunch of like utility skills give us more of that stuff please it's so fun yeah. be cool yeah all it's right essentially uh, like a dash <laughs> that's been added yeah backstab yeah uh cleric's brewmaster now grants an additional 10 strength wow Cleric's new perk, Overhealing, has been added. Holy shit, it's pretty good. Cleric's new perk, Holy Water, has been added. Honestly, I've, I don't... Has anyone really used it? Have you guys seen anyone no. check it out? Me, I, I honestly curses, haven't seen any, anything. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, for, solo, really it's for soloing enough. Lich, and that's it. Yeah, sure. Okay. And fighting a Warlock, I guess. Uh, yeah, but I mean, how many fucking curses are they putting on you? Honestly, yeah, so while you're drinking that pot and moving extra slow, he hits you with two more curses. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, Cleric's new perk, Faithfulness, has been added. What, what was that one again? 15% magic oh, damage. Oh, divine. Yeah, divine magic damage. Or whatever. That, that shit is OP. Did, that's does crazy. It add, does it add just, they just get 15% extra damage as magic damage? Because you see on their weapon when they have that perk that they have a little glowing like aura around their weapon as if Smite was activated. No, oh, I didn't actually know that. I haven't tested on a dummy. I keep forgetting to check. Imagine, I guess you could uh, probably see be, it on the tooltip. Yeah, it should just be a magic damage bonus. Or just, just imagine fighter, pally, multi-class. You got your longsword. You have shield mastery. 
you have counterattack, and then you have uh, faithfulness, and then maybe you have smite and judgment as well, and you're just fucking destroying people. Smite on a long and divine protection. Divine protection, sure, yeah. Or you can sounds, do 100 percent mm, damage. Just sounds amazing. While you're invincible for eight seconds, please. Yes. It just Put sounds. It just sounds so cool. I think that's uh, that's the multi class I think I want to gun for is paladin. I, I don't know. I think Same. it'd be sick. Uh, where was I? Bard's encore cooldown changed from thirty seconds to four seconds. Okay, you can all you can have a perfect din of darkness every time. Uh, Bard's dissonance range changed from five hundred to six hundred. Bard's new perk fermata has been added. What was that one? What does that do? Five resourcefulness. Yeah. Hmm. Bard's new Very skills. I mean, that's, perk. that's what is that? It's a uh, like thirty. Two or some shit percent buff duration on your songs. Pretty good. Yeah, maybe that's really not bad lazy... for like low level or norms or something. What's up? It's just it's just a lazy perk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sure. why I, that's why yeah. I said meh. It's just whatever. Th that's, well, I got yeah, excited so reading that because Fermata is like a, a pause of the note or something. Is that yeah. like what a Fermata is? So I was thinking like, dang, you could like play a song 90%, pause it, you know, and like have it like queued up almost. So oh shit. Shit like that would have been that's a good sick, idea you know? jay shit man yeah, sure. that sounds way better i like that so faithfulness is just a 15 percent divine magical damage bonus yep so yeah. i don't think it adds it it just shit. bonuses your whatever your stuff is by 15 percent yeah makes me want to run okay. melee cleric uh a smite judgment cleric with a fucking hammer <laughs> it sounds fun <laughs> The melee it's only not. cleric is fun, dude. You it gotta, is. You gotta be solos fast, especially. So. Solos especially. But then beyond that, it's like, do you really want to roll cleric and duos or trios without spells? Like, what a dick. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, that just sucks. Yeah, Dude, you say that, but cleric is strong. I, I know. Cleric's smite, a sleeper. I think, if you went smite deep, I think if you went smite divine protection and you were playing with a wizard and a bard, which is kind of a popular comp at the moment, Sort of a that that makes sense. You know? Yeah. Buff ball with a, a melee cleric. I mean, you're giving up all the utility of the heals and stuff for. Uh, God, I kind of want to play that. A, a Shit, that fucking cleric. The most devastating front line to ever exist. Maybe I got to play. At least like cleric and fighter right now are like super fun. Yeah. Or even yeah. barb. Barb got some new gear. I was Dude, having fun with okay. barb today. I, I'm getting a little ahead of myself on the patch notes here, but did you guys read about the two-hander change? Not yet. No. Save it. I mean, I did, okay. but I can't remember what it is because I. You, only he said, you mentioned at fighter. It. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, I I, oh, I glanced yeah, yeah. at it, but I, I I have not had a chance to ruminate. Uh, yeah, let's try to get through these, and we'll get to that point. Uh, Warlocks. Oh, sorry. Bard's new skill, Party Maker, has been added. What the fuck is Party Maker? Makes everyone not drunk anymore, around you, and it's a skill. Oh, that sounds like a terrible party. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's hilarious. All right, everybody, sober up. Who's gonna use that. that is so weird. Yeah, well, that's interesting. It's it should be called parties over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking sober up. Get out of here, yeah, idiots. It is a it is an active skill that seems like such a waste. Yeah, unless everyone is like getting drunk, you got a you got a, a couple of clerics and then the bard, and everyone's drinking and everyone's got those perks. I well, then I get it maybe, but eh. I don't with know. jolly time and brewmaster, like maybe I don't know. Yeah, you wouldn't even need that at that point. So you know what? That might be for rogues. So that way you guys can do some damage. Drink a beer, get like six more. <laughs> Remaster. Drink a beer, party time. I mean, the, the 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 effects of drunkenness got tuned down so much. I feel like it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't well, matter. For anymore. cleric, they got like plus ten strength or whatever. Maybe as a like fifteen, perk. nineteen strength or whatever. I just meant the detriment of of being drunk. It's like who cares? Yeah, oh. it's a little wobbly. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think of that. Honestly. If you're gonna play a melee only cleric, maybe run in brewmaster is kind of the move instead of like oh, uh, yeah, dude. the yeah, what's the minus know. three damage one called again? I can't remember. Perseverance. Uh, Perseverance. No, nah, you need that one, bro. You smoked. Really? Okay. It, it makes. You I, take I'm not, so I don't much play that much cleric. Yeah, I don't play that every, much. Yeah, Perseverance like one of the best. I know it's good. It's like great to not take poison damage from a goblin and shit, or a lot Versus less. Two. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but yeah, but, it reduces okay. all types of incoming damage by three. So you just get a minus three on all damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah it's good. You guys are right. Uh, let's see here. Warlock's Immortal Lament penalty has been removed. Warlock's new perk, Shadow Touch, has been added. I fucking love Shadow Touch. I am so terrified 
of Slayer Fighter Warlocks that are going to have Shadow Touch. Dude, they're going to... You gonna... think? Yeah. Like Shadow Touch, Poison, Weapon, Ranger? Are you kidding me? That's okay. That too. That's also... I. But isn't I'm it melee only? By... It's melee only, though. No, it's any... It just says physical damage. I thought it That's was melee you attack. Throw... You could throw a torch, bro, and hit someone for four damage and heal I for think three. They fixed, I think they fixed that They, they did change that, but yeah. Okay. It yeah, actually they, heals they changed for, that. They changed it. It, it. it apparently heals for more than three. I was reading a Reddit post from somebody that said that sometimes it will heal, heal for four. It's and it's prism, probably. So it's not affected by anything because it's true and it doesn't scale. But what it is is apparently the game keeps part, uh, track of decimals. So if yeah. you have like a decimal of health and it heals you over that threshold with like a 0.5 or something, it gives you four health. Mm. It, it seems like it's a visual thing and not actually giving you health. That's why sometimes if you ever died and you see like a tiny little pixel on your on your bar, that it happened like no, a, a handful of times ever. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, by the way, Shadow Touch says three true magic damage and three magical heal on melee hit. It says melee hit. Uh oh. Just wanted to throw that out there. That's why I'm afraid of Shadow Touch uh, Slayers. They're just going to be healing back so Wait, fast. Somebody said overhealing Warlock. Yeah. Oh, God. That That's too. Disgusting. Overhealing second win, bro. Oh, man. There's going to be some oh, fucking. Oh, 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 oh. There's going to be some <laughs> wild, wild fucking builds, Wait. dude. Oh, and by the way, potions overheal you as a cleric. So, oh, my overhealing God. Potion Chugger, chugger Bar. Yes. Or Barb, I mean. Holy shit. Fucking so, overhealing jolly time bard. Wait a minute. We're getting I'm getting ahead of myself. Honestly, yeah, you like you could there's so many cool broken builds. There's actually so many cool potential broken builds that maybe it's all just gonna cancel each exciting. other out. Yeah. It's it is exciting. exciting. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, um Jay, Warlock you like survival bow. Yeah. Survival bow with smite. All add magic on every piece of your gear and ignite. Jesus yep, with, Christ. with rapid fire. Jesus. You can already do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's better because you have Smite, which is adding True. magic that benefits you. Because I don't think with Survival Bow, you'll get any extra damage from Ignite with your added magic because it doesn't deal magic damage. But I think if you add, like if you had plus 18 magic damage or whatever the max is for add now, and, and a wizard ignites you, I don't think you get extra damage from Ignite, right? Mm. I think you only get it if your weapon deals magic damage. So if you have smite, it adds magic damage, and I think that'll make you do like 90 damage an arrow with a survival bow. Mm. I think that shit could be that's, disgusting. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Got a couple more here, fellas. <clears throat> Warlock's new perk, Infernal Pledge, has been added. I uh, can't remember what that one is either. Fuck my brain. Reduces damage taken from undead and demons. Oh, by 20%. 25%. Or 25%. Jeez. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. pretty good. I mean, if you're bossing, well, yeah. That's kind of cool. Nah, they gotta make... I'm telling They gotta change... Your friendly... Give me scav warlock perk. You're friendly with demons and uh, undead until you touch one. Then they're all pissed. In demon form, they don't attack you. In hell. Only in hell, though. Dude, that's kind of cool. Because you're a warlock in hell, crazy, bro. Though. Why, are you kidding me? Come on. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, they could do something cool with that. I like that. At least give me 5% magic damage bonus in hell on warlock. It's literally like your spot. Right? That makes sense. Warlock's new skill, Dark Offering, has been added. I try to make it work. It's, uh... I don't know. It's pretty punishing with the damage you take. You have to have Terrible. an immediate heal on you. What's what is it? Dark Offering, you hit the skill and then it channels. And the longer you channel, the more physical and magical damage bonus you get. But it takes 10% of your health each tick. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, if you take 50% of your health away, and it's all recoverable health, luckily, you get 25% bonus to both magic and melee. So it could Bro, potentially... It's like 8 seconds or 10 seconds, something like that. Can you put it on someone else? No. Okay. So if you have a cleric with you, you hit that, you get 25%, 30% bonus, something like that. Get hit with a big-ass heal. Obviously, you're drinking a potion as well. And then hopefully you get a few seconds left for your full health or it can go in and, and bash someone with your blow of corruption or whatever that does way more damage. Mm. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it I, it's, it's, got, it's got potential. I it's think got it has a lot potential. of setup. It's, it's a lot of setup. Of setup. Yeah. That's the big, it's one of the biggest issues of it, yeah. But, but I can but see Warlock it has all good. this ramp up shit with 
like soul collector and demon form and stuff i could i could see that yeah actually if you had dark offering go demon form with then 10 shards and like all that plus all gear that, that probably would go pretty fucking hard oh yeah yeah it could, it could be cool but you you need just need someone to heal you because you don't want to go into a fight at 50 percent health and melee because that's right. what it's really for is what dark off, yeah. dark offering is for so it's like yeah it's it's not for solos in my opinion um various types of new armor has been added Hell yeah, there has been a shitload of new armor added, and it's awesome. I think a lot of it looks great. There's so much yeah. cool new art. Um, I, I don't know. I'm loving the, the new armor stuff they've added. Various types of hunting loots, monster loot, have been added. Do you guys know what that means? Yeah, like just the new products. weird drops, like the icy yeah. eyeball and shit. And oh, I haven't even seen that yet. Okay. Interesting. Crafting shit, I'm obviously, sure like probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, legendary grade crafted items have been adjusted to epic grade. Okay. Increase the value. The values of all random modifiers except for a few. You can no longer check for random modifiers before purchasing crafting items in the store. That's good. And then solos, duos, trios will each be able to play a fixed map. Solos is Goblin Caves 3x3. Duos is Frozen Mountain Ice Caverns. Trios is Forgotten Castle Hell and Crypts New Inferno. We already talked about that. Kind of sucks, right? Uh, two new layouts have been added to the Goblin Caves. Um, I, as much as I'm not a big fan of the Goblin Caves, I do kind of like the three by three. I will say that, and I don't mind the layout so much. It's been it's been fun enough. Uh, I've been having fun with it. Yeah, I'm not normally a solos player, but I feel like it's just it, if the gameplay loop feels pretty good on it. I dropped a couple times naked on fighter. Died several times, and then one game I got a snowball going, and then I was killing like two, three people a game, and it was always like back to back to back fights, but just spaced out enough that I had time to recover. Mm. I understand people's complaints that it feels like the arena mode because it is literally just nonstop PvP after like the second minute. Yeah. Well, I mean, and you can like whenever I get into the goblin caves, within ten seconds there's a player kill, which is crazy, by the way. And mm. the kill feed, it's <laughs> like it's it's basically ten seconds. A player has killed another player. It's pretty wild. Uh, well, I would say high roller. There's definitely like a little bit of honor, a little respect. People are like, what? I don't, know, I don't know if you want this, but like norms is just everyone fucking goes after each other. It I feel like it's the opposite. Bloodbath. I feel like it's the opposite. You think I feel so? Like, I feel like in HR, it's just sweats that want to fucking suck up that gear from the other guy they killed. Where in norms, I get a lot of crouching. I'll attack someone and I'll get bitched at. I'm friendly, dude. What the fuck? You're an asshole. I'm like, oh, I'm an asshole for playing the game? Fuck off. Get the hell out. Yeah, I'm an asshole That's because some... you crouched at me. Therefore, I just got to play the game you want to play. Yeah, I'm the cunt. Yeah, fuck you. I feel like yeah. I get a lot more friendly people in high roller. People just don't want to die and lose their good gear. That is exactly it, yeah. That is I don't exactly notice it. that. And I, 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 I just so. keep telling people that it's you know, friendship is outlawed. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we can't I, be friends. I don't hate HR at all. Will Zill, I think HR is fun. I just don't like gear, the gear gap. So fuck you. How about that? Um, some <laughs> I areas... I devoured Donnie the other day and normals <laughs> as a demon lock. And that happened <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've been killed by a demon lock. I don't think I've seen one. I'll wipe. Hmm. Really? This guy's might a fucking liar. Might, might have one. Uh, let's see here. We got more stuff. Just gaslighting the shit out of this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, don't you fucking tell anybody. <laughs> Some areas in the Goblin Caves where it was difficult to move between floors have been fixed. To escape, stairs from Ice Cavern have been removed. The secret doors in the crypt have been improved. The marvelous chest is no longer locked. Good change. The overall item drop rate has changed. Adventure rank rewards are now given. You can receive it from the leaderboard page. Were you guys happy with the cloak, the cloak star stuff? It wasn't as cool as I thought, to be honest. I was, I was underwhelmed. Right. I thought it was going to be a little different. But at the same time, I, I put it on every cloak, so whatever. Um, whelmed. It's, well, just I'll whelmed. I'll tell you one yeah. funny part. <laughs> it's something I didn't even notice. Some of my chat noticed is like when I'm pickpocketing people and they're just like completely oblivious. And then like they, they like look at me and then they just keep going. You know, like they don't like click that I'm a person. <laughs> And then I'll look at the chat, and they'll they'll just laugh and say, "Look at the cape. <laughs> it's just it's a demigod cloak skin." And I'm just like, "Jesus Christ, oh. dude!" Oh, that, that's that's the fun part thing. of that's the one fun part of playing rogue and like trios is when you do manage to successfully evade a team, and you're like you're just sitting in the dark. I always have that that thought afterwards where I'm like, 
I was just stalking these guys for like 90 plus seconds. How many times has a rogue just been <laughs> staring at me from the darkness and I had no idea he was there? Which is funny Creepy. because I don't think I've ever thought that a single time. <laughs> I think about it all the time now. Yeah, I, which is funny. It's just because I pick pocket so much, I've never even like thought of it. But yeah, you're the you're doing the staring. It is a, it is a funny one. You're doing the it's, staring. You're doing the stalking. That's you. <laughs> well, I, I, you're I, the weirdo in the dark. <laughs> yeah, that's I you. Know. You're the peeping parry. I kind of yeah. just have like a sense. Like I know if there's a rat about, you know, I just send you just hear. It just you always right. hear that one footstep where you go, hmm. and you like stop. Yeah. yeah. For a good. <laughs> <laughs> or you just you bump into something that just should like okay was that a rubber banding or did i just bump into a yeah. fucking parry yeah i think i bought like I'll, I'll rubber band and i'll start swinging and i'm yep. like okay i don't know i don't know if i should be swinging at a rogue or if i'm looking like a moron right now because i'm rubber banding but every time i'm rubber band i'm pretty much Dude, swinging. jay I, I fucking watch videos of jay he's in the dark and he's just yelling schizo at people while they're swinging around <laughs> trying to find him and they're like going crazy they're like where's this piece of shit rogue he's like you guys are fucking crazy i'm out of here <laughs> i actually have like a physical reaction when i hear a rogue. i'll be playing i'll be like kind of decent posture but the second i hear that one extra footstep like my neck just goes he <laughs> just locked the fuck in. Just pure like, what concern. The <laughs> and like, kicking in. I just stop, and my guy's like, look at him, like, okay, I don't see anything. <laughs> Take like one, two steps. You're like, any any movement? And it's okay. They moving. can't kill you. They can't kill you anymore. Worst they could do is steal your shit. Exactly. Yeah. Which yeah. is worse? I don't know. I I hate watching my fucking treasure get stolen. It hurts. Hurts the ego. Man, sometimes I it's do funny, feel though. bad. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes yeah. I'll see some little innocent baby, little Bambi walking around, leading <laughs> chess, and I'm like, this poor fucker's about to waste 12 minutes of his life. <laughs> some some, some brand new ranger. 12 He's, minutes? No arrows <laughs> left. Is, oh, yeah. dude. You take a red portal, you're up in that one to 25, buddy. Let me see you down there. Oh, man, <laughs> I feel me. so shit. bad for this guy. I'm just going to keep taking all of his shit. <laughs> yep. Here's the thing with me. I don't think I've ever been pickpocketed. Which means one, I've never had anyone pickpocket me, or two, I was that fucking dummy just going around <laughs> doing my business, and some guy just thrifted me, just just went through my pockets. So, it's funny. man, the, the ones that really started getting me to feel bad is when you when you run their shit and then they take like three steps to start to chase you, and then like as you're running, you do the jump 180 to look, and they just stop. You're just yep. like, damn. Because, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they know that you're gone and there's no chance. And all their shit is just gone in the wind, bro. That's the PvP equivalent of the guy who's like, just kill me, man. I don't have anything. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Send me back to the lobby. All right, this, Fuck. Isn't, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah, I am Go defeated. On, get out of here. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get back to the list. We have so much more to go through. <laughs> uh -oh. um, okay. I warned you. I know. I fucking warned you. If you invited me on this podcast, it was gonna take forever. No, that's the whole point of it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Man. Um, let's see. Quests have weekly activations depending on the chapter. Okay. Squire has been added to Merchant to help you easily change equipment settings. Okay, the Squire is the best thing ever. I fucking love it. Yeah. I love sure. that so fucking Merchant. Chat. What do you guys think? I learned today. W or not? You, you upgrade it. Yeah, I didn't wait, know you, you can upgrade, upgrade it? it. Yeah, you yeah, can get yeah, better, wait, better close. loadouts, better normal loadouts. Yeah. You can get white wow. of ev You can get white of every item that your class can use in the loadout thing. It's once you get affinity with the the different uh, weapons and armor vendors, you'll be able to get whites for everything. You get like new options oh. as well, I think. Oh, okay. So you can change your base gear when you get higher affinity with the other yeah. traders. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So instead of being limited to just the junk yeah. quality stuff that you have right now, eventually you'll be able to have white quality of everything it's, that it's your cool. class can yeah. possibly use. It's awesome. Okay. Which is it's cool. amazing. All right, let's see here. Yeah, Squire, oh, amazing. Oh, I can just... Let's see here. Yeah. I will say, though, the fuck you guys thinking out in Ranger Traps and throwing axes? I, well, I tuned into Sophie's stream for about five seconds earlier to an entire stash page of traps again. And I know he got them things for five ninety three. Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you have to extract with them. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't put them in your stash unless that. they're extracted or handled. No, yeah, well, it's just a G or something. He, he earned it. He earned his traps. That's just That sounds like a normal Sophie stream to me. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm just going to be a fucking filthy, dirty, normie Andy this wipe for the most part. You know? Like, Norm's just, just so fun. I love it. That's yeah. fun. 
I mean, I, but HR bossing norms. is still great, though. It's still fun to try to artifact hunt, you know? That's still one of my favorite things in the game. But yeah, norms is the shit. Uh, let's see here. An experimental version of training has been added. We'll see that later on. Training allows players to grow their level beyond 20. By reaching certain levels, players, players will earn reward tokens and learning tokens. These tokens will be available when the experimental multi-class system is updated in the future. This training and multi-class system is completely experimental feature just for the season and will change completely in the future. That's an important note right there, folks. Uh, death cam has been added. Changed. Yeah. Death cam has been added. Um, I think it's kind of funny. It's, it's whatever, though. I, I don't think it's needed, but it is kind of funny to watch how you died. Uh, a new emote, blah, blah, has been added. A new emote, rock, paper, scissors, has been added. All right, who's going to run into the warlord first? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> how the... Why is it only scissors? That's what I want to know. It you should know, be randomized. Rock, paper, scissors with your boys. It's just. It should be. It time. should be randomized. Yeah. 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 I, think it, I think it rotates, Tails. but. Does it? It's, Does it? It's, it? Having, having this when you can walk around at people is just too fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Scissor me timbers. Yeah. Just giving everybody <laughs> surprise prostate exams. Oh, it is random. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. It is random? Okay, good. I've, I've only ever seen, seen the, the fingers, scissors. Bro. Yeah, same yeah. here. Same. Uh, the game package gift code system has been updated. For fans who yeah. have loved Dark and Darker to date, we will provide standard trial gift codes. You can gift it to your friends. Gotta love that. And then the next batch of stuff is Early Access Hotfix 37 that came out today. Before we get to that, anyone have any comments about the... Um, I want to hear the good stories. White number three, before we get to the hotfix, anything? Do we want to comment? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at these emotes. Uh, I got distracted. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, it's a hot fix. No, I think it made the game the, run that's a the big wipe. That's the big wipe. We're about to hit the hot fix. He's talking about the wipe. Yeah. Oh, wipes a W. I like it so far. Yeah, I'm, W wipe. I'm Good. Very much looking forward to Druid and multi-classing in a couple weeks. Agreed. All right. Have they confirmed? Sorry, I was actually just stalling for time as I brought this up because I accidentally closed it, so sorry about that. All right, now we can know. actually read. Well, I was, you know, something I wanted to ask chat on all ends here is, has anybody had a good story of giving your code to a friend and have them enjoy the game yet? Because we need, we need to hear about some stories like that on Reddit. I think Reddit oh, gets a little uh, cranky sometimes and they need, like, happy posts. How do I access my code? Is it my email? You go to the website. Go yeah, I gotta website. give it to my buddy like Ryan. A claim your code button or something on the page somewhere. I'm gonna hook my uh, hook my buddy Ryan up. He's a he's a big gamer and he keeps wanting and to whenever, buy Darker Darker but hasn't yet. Whenever I give them the code, they get to try the game or ten days. Ten days. Yeah. Ten, ten days. days. Yeah, ten day trial. And okay. if they want to buy it, they get a thirty percent discount. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very attractive. Oh. That's pretty awesome. How much man. is the base edition? 35, right? Pretty sure. Dude, Augie, Augie in my chat just said, my friend already gave up the second day after I gave him the trial code. <laughs> Timicus. <laughs> Timicus no, got slapped. Well, well, that's not good, though, you know? Two days. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying earlier in this fucking podcast. They have to figure out that new player Man. experience. They have to lower the gap. At the end of the day, like, it's fun being OP. I enjoy it when I have gold gear. I enjoyed it whenever I had full gore. It felt really fun. But if they got if they're thinking about their business and retaining players and the long term game, they gotta they gotta lower that gap a little bit. They gotta I'm, make the experience. I'm curious. Better. Do they still have that hundred hour lockout or whatever on new accounts for high roller and trading? I don't think so. Oh, I think I that's know. been gone for quite a while. They need to put that back in. Then you think so? You should not be brand new to the game and picking high roller. I yeah, saw somebody. You, I think I saw, saw somebody talking about that. They were like. Yeah, they had they had a friend who was just went straight into high roller because they that was the way the game is supposed to be played. Yeah, um, mm. yeah, I, I agree. They if I think the trial code should be locked out of HR. Yeah, hmm. maybe at least like for the first couple days. Thing. It was a little feels bad in some idea. ways. Like maybe the trading shouldn't shouldn't be locked or something. <laughs> but at least you imagine roller, you shouldn't be allowed locked out of HR you... for a few days with the trail. That's not a bad idea. So people yeah, don't get discouraged. Days, yeah. hours. Well, no, any new account. Like, you shouldn't. I don't feel... I feel like you shouldn't. They could do that what in, a lot of... They, yeah. they could do what a lot of games do, where, like, when you sign up with a new account, you, like, slowly unlock things that gives you, like, a reason to log in each day. 
Mm. It's just something to trick your monkey brain into wanting to play the game. Yeah, dailies and shit. Well, I just love like the idea. A, yeah, it's ranked. You can't just make a brand new yeah. account, hop into ranked. You know, there's like, right. w whatever the reason is, it's smurfing, whatever. It's for, at the end of the day, it's still new players, so they don't just get shit on. Mm. Well, so. I mean, what if you have to create an account that hits level 15 before you can get high roller? Sure, man. With, with how XP is right now, that would be fine. It's going to take new players a long time to hit level 15. Yeah. Um, it'll, take a, it'll take a while. It'll take hours for sure. All right. Let's look at this uh, hot fix number 37, shall we? All right. Fix an issue where left click or right click, uh, right click could sometimes be entered automatically. Interesting. That's, uh, that actually happened to me a lot. Um, do you guys have that issue where you just kept swinging your weapon? Yep. Yeah. Or you, or you kept yep. your fucking shield up. Or, yeah. or the lantern. <laughs> yeah, the lantern. Mid fight throw, yep. lantern guy. You ever had that happen to you? <laughs> yep. Yes. Or have you, you ever accidentally like... killed a buddy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like oh, your, dude, your, your axe person. doesn't stop and you're just like shit. Dude, like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was the left click bug, man. Oh, I guess I'll yeah, just have to take yeah. all your gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've definitely done it once. What a shame. <laughs> I just didn't see it. They they were like almost dead from a fight, and I finished the guy out. They were standing in between. They were standing on the other side of an enemy, another player, and I killed them with my axe. I think it was a double axe. And then I was like, okay, the guy's dead. I killed him. But then the axe swung again, and my buddy had like five fucking health left. And that <laughs> double axe range just <laughs> chopped his fucking head off, dude. <laughs> and, yeah. then I, and then I left clicked and canceled it, but the damage had been done. Um, fix an issue where arrow models could remain on screen when canceling a bow reload. Fix an issue where revived mm. player skills could would display as the skills of the of the player who resurrected them. Weird. Fix yeah. an issue where rogue stealth would or sound would be heard by third party targets. Interesting. Uh, mm. Fixed an issue where the stealth status of rogues who were not party members could be seen while spectating. Huh. Wow. Yeah, yep. it's when you're spectating your boy, you could see a stealth rogue. Like Oof. Crazy. Ouch. The the RMT RM teamers love that one. And yeah. I do call them RM teamers, by the way, because it's always a fucking gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Fix an issue where the warlock's shadow touch would also apply when throwing a torch to an enemy. Good thing that's out. Fix an issue where players could be hit by melee attacks immediately after using the warlock's phantomize. Oof. Fix an issue where the cloaks... This is weird. That is weird. I hey, thought did that you... was like a lag thing. Did, did and they were able know... to fix that. It's weird. Did, did you guys know that... I don't know if this was a bug... I tested this last night. You can parry with the longsword while you're in Phantomize. Huh? And it will actually what? block. It will actually. Ah? Yeah, I, I think I took a clip of it. I'll post it in the chat after if I can find it. I, oh. I Phantomized and I just happened, I like accidentally right clicked while I have my, my longsword out and goes in the pose. I'm like, wait, what the hell? So I walked up to a hmm. kobold, let him shoot the, the blade and it tink. You can't repost while hmm. you're in Phantomize, but if you could block with a block for shield, somebody. Yeah, something. you can block with somebody. You can stand inside of them and just parry, and you, they're not going to be able to swing through it because, you know, you're in Phantom Eyes. Or if you can use a heater shield, that shit could be OP. Yeah, that's... I, it's got, I feel like it's got to be a bug, but actually would be really sick. Keto, Keto God says like that's not new. Out. Keto God in your chat, Jay, just said that's not new. Yeah, I so. saw. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Every time I phantomize or I see someone else phantomize, that's just like a known reset. Like, all right, that motherfucker's going to ghost away. Now's my chance to mm. pop a bandage in a pot or something, mm. you know? Or hit him with a holy strike and kill him. Or that. Beating or him. that. Or a fireball. But I, I'm rarely playing a cleric or a wizard. Uh, okay. Uh, what else we got here? Fix an issue where the cloak skin could come off when restarting the client. Fix an issue where the effect of a torch falling on the ground was not displayed as a changed effect. Fix an issue where all attribute options for chest and leg armor were fixed to two. Oh, where'd they go? They go to three or four? That's... Okay. No, it's one, one or two. I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Fix an issue where ale wasn't actually inside it, so you're just drinking air. <laughs> Fix an issue where the campfire sound was not output. Silent fire. It's kind of cool. Fix an issue in the cave maze module where chests and monsters could spawn at the same time. Hmm. Fix an issue where rewards were set too low relative to the Goblin Cave's one layout. Fix an issue where the fixed escape was not displayed on the Goblin Cave's minimap. That's kind of that's shitty. Fix an issue where the quest objective, Prison A, did not exist. Fix an issue where players could get caught in door frames when moving. Oh yeah, I felt that one. 
That shit was annoying. Yeah. Fix an issue where the frost giant would bounce too much after dying. <laughs> I saw that once. That, was yeah, that one made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty The fact fun. that there's a dial out there, you can adjust how bouncy the ragdoll <laughs> is on death. It's like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, it's funny. You just turn that all the way up all the time. Yeah. That, see, that sounds like a fun, like, pre-wipe event. event. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no jiggle physics. Nice. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see here. Fix an issue where monsters were sometimes unable to properly track players. Fix an issue where items other than fighter weapons from the squire supplies could not be set as supplies when the fighter was equipped with both the weapon mastery and slayer perks. Fix an issue where the squire did not provide the Gurmundu helmet by default. Gurmumbu. Gurmumbu. Fix an issue where squires recognized poor and common ratings as targets for stash above all. Fix an issue where the squire's base gear was not set properly when equipped with a longsword. Fix an issue where no sound would intermittently occur when pressing the quest accept button. Fix an issue where items received as quest rewards could not be sold. Fix an issue where the multi-class achievement level was displayed as 100 instead of 30. And fix an issue where the coffee time rest, emo uh, rest motion would glow in the dark. Yeah, I actually took coffee time rest off because I just thought people would see me drinking the coffee. That steam coming up. See me swirl in that cup around or whatever. I'm like, I don't want people to. I mean, how often are you sitting and hiding? Not well. Not even trying to. Well, I don't know. I'm quite often. Brother, actually. I was quite I often. Was fully that happens. on the ground in the middle of a team fight, <laughs> <laughs> sleeping like this as everyone was walking past me. That's, That's amazing. Yeah, the sleep the sleep rest thing is actually pretty great. You can do <laughs> this. If you're if you're a naked black skeleton and you just lay down in the dark, no one's gonna see you. No one's gonna oh, notice. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, we got one more page of stuff, and then we can do a Q&A.